Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to the thing. Setup's changing. We got new stuff going on. Shelf. Everybody say hello to Shelf. Featuring one pepito. There's my filing cabinet for all my files. I have very many files. When boys and men move into a new place, you gotta fill that bitch up with furniture or else you're screwed. I learned that the hard way recently when I moved. But today we're gonna learn the easy way by looking at male living spaces. It's a fun subreddit. It has these photos from men's places that are really fun. I'm actually looking at the Twitter account that has a post from the Reddit page, but it's all the same. Of course, poor interior design. Design. It's not a gendered construct. However, there is a unique phenomenon of dudes rock style interior deco that features many a gaming console and TV and few a other furniture. Just for a quick reference, here's the, the room that I'm recording in right now. It's a mess and it's empty and there's nothing here and that's my problem, not yours. But today it's everybody's problem. Here we go, male living spaces, let's go. And here we go, amazing. Starting off with the double decker couch, wow. So you and your boys can watch the game and then you and your bubber upper boys can watch the game from the upper upper zone. You see here that the game is actually a fan on a small, tiny desk. Oh, sorry, they're not watching the game. They're watching Baby Yoda in the hit series Baby Yoda show. Nightcrawler, where the guy is a good protagonist and he's cool. It's pretty impressive that even though they're posing for a photo for this to get posted, these guys have no idea what's going on. And there's a trash can that's so full, it's pried open. Just give it a scooch out of the frame. In all honesty, though, this does look fun. It looks like a fun boy's cave. My rating is 7.5 boys out of 10 boys. Wild baby cat sighting. Hey, she's trying to escape. Baby cat. Baby cat. This one is perfect for some of that Tears of the Kingdom gaming. See, we have the sword and we have the TV and we have, we have let's just in post put uh, uh, Tears of the Kingdom there and then the, all the rest of the stuff that you need. And now we're gaming. A lot of these for sure get posted when people first move in. They have more stuff to move in, but they do it for the bit. You know, they're familiar with the territory. They do a little meme. They put the TV down. But those first few days of gaming on the floor in a new apartment, hey, don't knock it till you try. It. Okay, this one's upsetting. I don't see enough weapons as decorations on here, so behold my favorite wall. Oh, come on. It's like if Tim Pool were somehow even more of a fascist. Any Marvel paraphernalia on your walls? Any Funkos? Any weaponry? Just pop cultural references in general to actually display on your walls, to me, is criminal. It's a crime. It should be punished very handily by the state, the state enforced punishment. Captain America doesn't even have a sword. And these are like jousting swords. These are like what that one guy, little Italian guy, whoa, 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 does in, in that Game of Thrones. Gating, what is it called? Bordering when they tap each other on the lips. And <laughs> it's stick on plastic hooks. That's amazing. At least camouflage it, you know, at least hide it. I don't know, it's fun, it's bad, but we love it. How do I make the fish look less scary? Removing it is not an option. I mean, it looks like they've tried, you know, with the candy and the rainbows. Wait a minute, what is that? Oh, no. It's an Among Us. They put an Among Us in there. Imagine being a fish that's living in this tank here and you look out your window. Bam. A giant, essentially taxidermied version of you. Fish guy here again. I took your advice and now he is a pretty princess. Oh, I was right. It was an Among Us. They put an Among Us in the shot and that's... I love Among Us. This somehow is even scarier to me because it kind of looks like if you dismembered and then shaved a Big Bird. It's just a little ring of Big Bird right around the tip. I don't know. It's bad. Oh, I guess there's like a pet here. Maybe a cat. So maybe this is psychological chinning to try and get them to be hungry because cats love to eat fish. Cats love to take a fish and then put it in their mouth and pull it out and it's just the bones on the fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quick break. Thanks, sponsor Vance Global. This video is sponsored by Vance Global. Thanks, Vance. Vance Global has all sorts of great stuff for chilling out and hanging out and feeling good. Vance Global sells Delta 8 and HHC products that will have you hanging out and chilling. Vance sent me over some gummies and some carts to check out. The Delta 8 and HHC gummies are vegan, organic, and the lab test is all available on Vance's website. They recommend starting out with half a gummy because of how potent these gummies are. They contain 50 milligrams per gummy and that's 400 milligrams in a bag. Vance ships quickly and discreetly to all 50 states. Vance was also nice enough to send over their HHC and Delta 8 carts. These carts have no additives or cutting agents, period. The only ingredients are the HHC and terpenes. It features a high quality ceramic coil with a wood mouthpiece, which is a naturally antibacterial surface. Any bacteria that gets onto that surface will die within minutes of of touching that surface. Compared to a few days on a plastic mouthpiece, who would have thought we love wood here? The carts also ship discreetly to all 50 states. So you may be asking, well, Noah, how does HHC compare to Delta 8 in terms of the effects? And well, HHC provides a stronger head high with increased focus, euphoria, and a sativa-like effect. It's certainly better for day use because it provides these effects. Plus it relieves anxiety and paranoia while also making you feel energized and social, sociable. Check out the link in my description or go to Vance 
sam-global.com and use my personal discount code SAMSON, that's S-A-M-S-E-N, no P, okay, no SAMPSON, come on, for 20% off your order. Great stuff, thanks Vance Global. Now let's get back to the video. My closet office, my girlfriend thinks I'm deranged, but I like it in here, it's cozy. Now she's right. Um, she's for sure right. This is the photo room in a movie where the protagonist develops photos that turn out to be <laughs> of their own grandfather or something. Every movie has that these days and this all this wokeness. It does look cozy though. It looks like the red is probably glowing off of a heat lamp. He's probably a hamster or some type of gerbil. And maybe it's easy on the eyes, you know? I don't know. Blue light is the bad one. So maybe it's red light. It does something different. Who cares? How can I make my bedside table less shit? Any recommendations on docs, etc.? See, this to me is the polar opposite of the male living spaces ethos. There's stuff here. There's stuff here that's being used by a person. They're chapping, they're pilling, they're charging, they're pooping. There's medicine, there's remotes, there's pens. This person is doing something and also somehow applying creams and ointments to their body in a manner that is actually seems responsible. But also there's a drawer. So, you know, just throw all that in the drawer. It should be good. That's my advice to that person. There's a drawer right there. Sleep Stex Spaceship. That is just upsetting. That name is so upsetting to me. Because you know the person that posted this was not being ironic. This was this was their like sleep sex. We're going into space when we ha hook up in my new sex room. <laughs> hey girl, I hope you enjoy my Etsy Doctor Strange sorority sex dungeon. I'm 35 by the way. Aesthetically, it's calming. You know, it's nice. I do like the patterns, but given the context, uh, I hate it so much that I want to die. Oh, here we go. I knew it was bound to happen. The Funko Boys. My girlfriend was sick of finding my pop on the oh shortening it to pops this person is very familiar with using the pops lingo obviously they have like 40 of them to be clear i'm not pop shaming i'm not funko shaming uh i just this i'm a big hater for funko pops i'm the funko pops number one hater and that's my favorite thing to hate on if you're gonna get toys to display sorry figurines get some cool shit get some wacko shit don't get this marvel disney studios larva just little eggs of consumerism oh we got indiana jones oh we got freaking they got yo baby minions see this one's actually cool because it's a real minion. It's not any of this bullshit. Okay, my hating is over. Let's move on. This fridge is actually surprisingly not as bad as I would have thought. My fridge looks worse than this, and I'm not going to show you a photo because that's breaking HIPAA laws, but it is mostly liquids. That's pretty normal. Sauces and liquids. But here you have some nutrients, vitamins and minerals in the form of some fruit. Drink was left by a woman, so I don't get it because there's like 30 drinks. What does that mean? If I wasn't mistaken, this to me appears to be the backside of a nice packet of full of salami or meat that is spotted for other reasons. But this fridge looks brand spanking new, looks clean, so I don't think it's mold. I think it's good old salam. This fridge gets eight boys out of ten buys. Man cave. It's good. They labeled it here in the post as man cave, and they also labeled it IRL. Man cave. Just in case you were confused. Oh, bro, cool office room. Is What is this, like a, a girl cave or something? Is this a bl bl little boy's cave? Read the sign, partner. Okay, just read it. It's always just like mass media cultural references. Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Funko, something Funko, Pokemon, Mario. When I consume media, I walk straight up to the studio and ask them what to watch and they tell me. But let me be abundantly clear, I like Lord of the Rings, I like Star Wars, I like Pokemon. Never actually played Pokemon. Apparently there's slavery in it, so don't like that. But you don't see me doing a freaking Luke Skywalker crucifixion behind my neck while I'm recording. We don't want to do that. This is an alternate universe quartering that became somehow slightly less of a freak and just got into media instead of racism or whatever that guy's doing. <laughs> This is good. To me, this is good. Couch and chair placement, certainly questionable. Dog placement, you know, that's fine. All right, that's all right. As long as it wasn't driving the cars, you know what I mean? Because dogs these days, with all this woke, they love to... <laughs> They love to drive cars or whatever. I'm t I'm tired. It would be fun to get like 12 to 17 big boys in here to sort of use up all of the things that are going on here. Like three on the couch, one sitting on the armrest of the couch watching the TV, one in this chair, all of them chucking wood in the barbecue fire thing. All cars fully loaded with passengers, turned on, garage doors closed. The dog is playing poker with seven more boys all around there. He's doing a royal flush and then he's driving off in his car because that's what they do these days of all because of wokeness. This would happen in a world where carbon monoxide actually is good for you. And they would fill the boys up with laughter and fun times. And they'd go to bed feeling the full bellies of friendship and love. Just in case you're watching, person who made this Glock in my VW, uh, do it. Thanks. That is a cool ass car though. I like this. That's very nice. What would you do with a balcony of this size? 
stand. <laughs> you could also lay down. Looks like you've already got an idea of what you're doing. Gonna do here. You're starting a garden, Wally style, one plant at a time, recirculating the earth. That's right, BP Oil Corporation. This guy's coming for your butt ch cheeks. Would you hold my hand in the hold hands poopy room? I just realized that swirlies, as in the high, sort of middle school bullying technique, are also waterboarding, technically. I don't know if they're ever used for that purpose, but here, if you had a school bully or a Guantanamo Bay guard, you could make the process really efficient. Hope you're taking notes, Guantanamo Bay guards that watch my channel. All right, here we go. This is the one. Gaming, air mattress, tiny mattress, Baboonga. Phone charger dangling off the highest plug ever made. What is this, a drone? An underwater camera? Sheets still in the package from Target. I admire you. I've never in a house seen office tiles in the ceiling of a house. Maybe this isn't a house. Maybe this is a content house that's done in an office building. I like the shoe placement though, you know? They're not in the way, that's for sure. And there, see, it's nice. You wrap your cables up around your shoes, then you take them off. So when you put them back on, you can maybe trip and that's fun. First own flat. My friends say it looks too feminine. What should I change? Woke living room, woke living room. <laughs> what is feminine about? Gold? Is it the gold that they're upset about? I can't really tell. The quality's not good enough for this robot guy, but I think he's um he's a little gold robot. First, I think this is great. The accent colors are nice. Could use some art on the wall, but it looks, you know, it's it's seems very cleanly designed. Although this TV stand is wild. It's a three-piece TV stand extended clip. There's two of them. Perfect for storing the decaying corpse of Wilt Chamberlain. Oh, I didn't see the comment here. It says mountain axe on the wall. That's funny. Put that Captain America bullshit up there, and then all your friends will be like. Wow, you're such a masculine man. You took the Captain America pill. You're Tim Pool pilled. Congrats, bro. Any advice about what to put in this area above my front door? It looks so empty right now. Do a little accent chair on a side table with a lamp and a random book on the table. It would be really funny. And they fucking did it. Okay, well, this is a funny bit, except for the T-Rex head. Like, the T-Rex head ruins it for me, and it's indicative perfectly of what a Reddit guy does. The bit is fine without the T-Rex head. The bit is that it's just another extension of your home. Your home doesn't have a fucking T-Rex, unless it does, I guess. Pro I mean, probably not. This right here, good comedy. Funny bit. Boom. Ruined. Sorry. Okay. Let's, where do we begin? Um, love the colors. Huge fan. Looks like you're getting all your boys together to throw on a ContraPoints video and wild the f*** out. I do have some critiques here though of exposed LED lights. Don't expose them. Put some glow dampeners over them. Cover them up and let them fade instead of having the harsh bulb light. Just get it out of there. Sparkle starlights. Very college dorm. And maybe this is a college dorm. You go to richuniversity.com. I'm rich. You know, University. City views of the penthouse suite college. Give this chair a scooch somewhere else. It's You're an inch behind the other viewer of the TV. See here? They're trying to view the TV, but there's a person right here sitting, breaking their kneecaps off. Dining table looks good. Christmas tree thing? Uh, why is the, uh, I don't. I don't know. It's fine, okay? Good, good job. I'm being too harsh on you, buddy. Found a way to organize my library in the little space that I have. That's fun. It's a good bit. I get it. You know, he set it up. He did the thing. If you take out this stuff, I think it's not bad. You got a Jesus up there and a Stonehenge. I got, you got to pick one, all right? You're sending mixed messages here with your religions. Why is this picture frame so fucking thick? It looks like Rabbit from Zootopia. It looks like a screenshot from a carpool karaoke episode. Whatever, whatever. If anyone can identify what these books are and what they mean and read the and explain the plot in four seconds or less to me in the comments, thank you. Very creative. I really don't like it one bit, though. <laughs> one thing Reddit will spit out occasionally in the top upvoted replies is some some good jabs, you know, creative jabs. Not like Twitter, where Twitter Blue will have just the bulls of shittedest replies of all the time at the top. It's someone like, "Wow, that's crazy!" OMG, or just like emojis. No, these sometimes are very good. So good job, Reddit. Thank you. I need help. What could I do to make my living room look better? I do appreciate that people earnestly post in here when the room is dirty. The first thing everyone's gonna say is just clean, just grab the shoe, you know, move the, put the toys in a toy area. Gatorade bottle, half drank. Just once you're done, obviously. Throw it out. I think this is a sound bar, which is very upsetting, but it might not be a sound bar. It might be something else. Sound bar on one side and then like old owl clock on the other is so insane. Also <laughs> haunted. This is a haunted room, tilted lampshade. This is a post earthquake room. Hey guys, just went through a violent earthquake and wanted some interior design advice. That shoe is all that's left of my kid, but I do want to figure out what I should do with these couches. <laughs> all right, everybody, that's it for the video today. We just wanted a silly fun one to look at some stuff. Let me know if you enjoy that because I have fun doing it and I have fun goofing off. Thank you to Vance Global for sponsoring the video. Hi, Vance. Thanks, Vance. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>